Hey, what's up guys, it's Mike here, and we're gonna play The Walking Dead on New Frontier. Last time we left off here, we just died. Ah, uh, I'm really bad at this game. In season there. 2, I died, for the first time dying was in episode 3 or 4. But... Get to the gate! Okay, life fucks you. I really like the game because it's, uh, the quick events uh, hey. Open happen up. when... Happen when you, when you. I can't open uh, the gate yeah, till you clear them out. Can't risk it. I forgot my words. When you least expect it, yes. Or two. One. I shot that bitch. Oh, face? Oh my god. That was beautiful. Whoa! God effing damn it, Francine. One of these days, those doors are gonna close and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, and when that day comes, Trip, I promise I'll eat you first. It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there, hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, what the shit. fuck is happening with the game? I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. I'm taking my. So, there, keep your heads down. My steer clear of trouble. That's why it's you got me? Shit. There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. We'll be cool. Just need a place to ride out the herd, that's all. All right. I'm gonna hold you to that. And I wouldn't recommend changing your mind. If you wanna hang on to all your teeth, that is. Clementine reminds me so much of Ellie from The well, Last of Us. Welcome to Prescott. And The Last of Us is getting a fucking sequel, so... 2018, I'm waiting for you. It's a pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. Not exactly an option this time, though. Hey, what's the problem? You have some sort of history here that I should know about? Not really. I just... I know what people are capable of. Hey, Javi. What's... what's up? My family... They're still out there. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure you know... They'll know what to do. Nope. Hopefully. Let's go. This way. They're probably dead. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. Sure. Let me help you out. I'm in love with Clementine, dude. Like, uh, uh, seriously, fucking pedophilia shit. Yeah, I'm 17. Jeez. So. I haven't been in a place like this since. Well, you know. It's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang, Hang tight. tight. Well, wait, wait. Sure thing. What should I do? I Hang don't know. tight. Why don't you make some friends? Sure. That black guy seems like a good pe pe people. Mm -hmm. Wonder if it's loaded. Oh, it sure is. Excuse me. Oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves, I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I note you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. So what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. 
Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it, nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. <laughs> and that got a lifetime ban? Nah, they just wanted to set an example. I was the poor bastard they used to do it on. All I know is what I read in the papers. Wait, what did he do? Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. Sure. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? Hmm. <clears throat> Don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. He's bluffing. He's got bullshit written all over him. <laughs> Is that a fact? Right. I think I'll listen to the man. Call. Moment of truth. Flip him. Oh my. Ain't that a pretty sight? Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Well, Told you. Down, both of you. Hey. Thanks for the advice, hon. How's about a drink? On my tab. Dude, I don't even know how to play poker. I've only played Bottom governor up. of poker. Wow, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal and it's done? What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Because I don't scare easy, all right? Damn right. So you better figure out a way to fix this. And I mean real fast. Uh, well, she doesn't need one. I should have those pressed. bullets she that traded need. you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Unfucking believable. Look out! The fuck? Listen, let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy, I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus, you gotta get her under control, man. The fuck? This ain't no way to do business. Boy, you have it wrong, buddy. I don't control her, which looks like bad news for you. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh. Drop the gun. Oh. Right now. See, he attacked you. That he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you. Eli attacked him. I only shot because. Shut it. You done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there, and you're firing off a fucking. What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? Yes. Yes, she did. Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? God damn it. That's not how you act. Putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do with Whoa. you. Whoa. Okay, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. Got some nerve coming in and fucking up my bar. I'd have punched your fucking lights out. Both of you. But Eli was a grade A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Hey, thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um, that was cool of you. Of course. Anytime. Hell, I mean, you and I are a team now. Thanks. I mean it. Maybe she will Just want to come with us in the van and not steal it from anything. us. Hello? <gasps> Look at that bitch, I'm gonna fuck that ass. Slap that, slap that, slap that ass. Slap that ass. Slap that ass. 
<laughs> I'm what passes for a doctor around here. The trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage, like you're some feral animal. Javier, pleasure's all mine. Is it now? Now, let's see about that wound. Mm -mm -mm. I want to see about that pussy. Yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. <clears throat> Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? As if good looks equal bad behavior or something. Yeah. Well, it takes one to know one. One what? One pretty troublemaker. <laughs> I'll give you that one. Is that your daughter? People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. Nope. If you don't mind me asking, what did happen exactly? That they were arguing and that she went crazy over nothing? That guy had it coming. Believe me. Karma, justice, you call it whatever you want. But fuck that bastard. Hey, okay. If you say so. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town and get back to your group. We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. If there's... Wait, there was there's no... Can get out. Like... Not, not that I have much to offer you, but... I know a thing or two about losing family. I wouldn't want to make any trouble for you. This whole thing's been... I didn't have the messy. option to say you. he attacked me. Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair, and no one can say I didn't do right by no one. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. <laughs> on my terms and on my timeline. You got me? All right, fair enough. Fair enough? Go kiss a skunk's ass. I should be earning a goddamn Boy Scout badge for this. Trip. It doesn't seem right to wait. Javi's people, they can need a medic. No, -uh, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. It's okay, no need to. Look, Kill yourself for me. Maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but... Well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. If your family does need help, I'll be right there to give it. What? Seriously? And you do that for me? It's just... It's the right thing to do. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. Thank you. You know, I never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah. She's... She's something. The thing is... is and maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. You're right. Trip's got more muscle, just in case. We'll wait and get a ride with him. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna sure choose Trip because you know. Reason. You know, when I met you, I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. And to think that when we first met, you nearly blew my head off. <laughs> yeah, guess I made the right call. It's gonna be a while before that herd passes. We well, might as well get some sleep. Good idea. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp. Whoa, and now the boogeyman comes and gets Clementine. That's how she works, right? When you get the light off, whatever. Thank you all for watching. Like, favorite, and subscribe for more. See ya.